Hello and welcome to your Year 12 Taster lesson for A-Level Media Studies. My name is Mr Compton and I run the Film and Media Department here at Goffs Academy. I've put together this video lesson for you to give you a sense of what we do on the Media Studies A-Level course, how it's structured and to run through some basic textual analysis too. I'll be moving fairly quickly through it but of course the advantage of doing this as a video lesson is that you can stop and pause it whenever you need to make notes. So what is Media Studies? Media Studies is, as you might reasonably expect, the study of the media. Perhaps the question to start with, therefore, is what is the media? So the media is defined as the main means of mass communication regarded collectively. So we're talking about communication and how this is done on a large scale through different media forms, such as newspapers, magazines, television, social media, video games, advertising, and any other form of communication you can think of, really. In media studies, we look at how these different media create and communicate messages, and how these messages are read and interpreted by their audiences. So why is it important? It's often said that we live in a media-saturated world. For many of us, one of the first things we do in the morning is look at our phones, maybe check news websites or social media. It's often the last thing we do at night as well. How many other media do you think you consume in an average day? Do you watch television in the morning whilst eating breakfast, perhaps? Um, that's more media consumption. Think about your journey to school. Do you have the radio on or music playing? Those are a type of media too. What about the adverts you see on billboards or bus stops whilst you travel? More media. In fact, it's difficult to think of many places where you don't get subjected to a constant barrage of media. So with all these messages and information coming into your mind practically unfiltered, it's probably a good idea to learn and understand how the media uses images to reinforce ideologies and viewpoints, how it can use media language to encourage political allegiance, or how it can utilise advertising to make you feel like you need certain products. In media studies we look at all these things and more. Watch the following clip from Charlie Brooker, the creator of Black Mirror. He's talking about aspirational TV and how it distorts and damages our perception of ourselves, each other and the world at large. Now take a few moments to consider what effect do you think the media has on you? Are you affected by the media at all? What choices in life do you think you have made due to media influence? What choices do you think those close to you may have made as a result of media influence? The structure of the media course. The A-level media course is broken up into three roughly equally weighted components. Two of these are exam units and one is a coursework project. Component one is titled Investigating the Media and it's worth 35% of your overall grade. It's an exam unit and it asks you to analyse a wide range of different media forms including TV, radio, advertising, music videos, film and newspapers. This component also includes some unseen textual analysis in the exam so you'll need to really practice your ability to look at a media text and deconstruct it. Don't worry however, after studying this course for a little while you'll start doing this pretty much automatically. Many people say that once they've taken media studies they never look at a media text in the same way again. Component 2 is called Investigating Media Forms and Products and it requires a more detailed and extensive study of three specific media forms. That's magazines, television and online media. This is another exam unit and like Component 1, it's worth 35% of your overall grade. Third and final component is the non-exam assessment or coursework. It's worth 30% of your overall grade and it requires you to make an individual cross-media production. There are options as to what forms you'd like to work in, but a very typical project for this would be to create a new magazine aimed at a particular target audience, produce a front page and some pages from inside that magazine, and then to also create a real website for your magazine which uses the same branding, target audience, uh, representation, etc. It's a pretty intensive task, but it's very rewarding, and it's also a great opportunity to put your creativity to good use. With a bit of effort and application, it's possible to do very well on this coursework, and it's a great head start for your exam assessments. What is media language? One of the most common terms you'll hear on any media studies course is media language. 
This simply means the language that the media uses. This includes, but is not limited to, written and spoken language. It also includes the use of colour, images, the choice of model, camera angles, lighting, fonts, and every other creative decision that goes into a media text. It's possible to use media language as a tool to help us analyse media products, and we call this process textual analysis. You'll be doing a lot of this on the course. So let's give it a quick try now. Watch the music video for Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines. This is a somewhat controversial video, and there's two different versions. This is the more acceptable of the two. As you watch, I want you to try and identify what you think the video and the song is saying about gender. What does it assume men are? How does it portray them? And what does it seem to think of women, and how does it portray them? What messages and values do you think this particular media product carries? What does it say to the viewer? So that brings us to the end of this taster session. I hope you found it interesting and I hope you've got a better idea of what to expect in September. In preparation for starting the course, please complete the following as a summer task. Pick a music video which you find interesting. Watch it and watch it again. Make some notes and analyse how it portrays men and women and write an essay discussing it using detailed examples to help support your points. Full guidance is in the attached summer task file, so I'll leave you with that and until September, goodbye.